Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best selling Super C's in the entire country, and we haven't seen one of these on the show in over a year. This is a 2022 Integra Coach Accolade Model 37TS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Accolade and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to finally have another Integra Accolade to review. This one being the 2022 37TS. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everyone! How's it going? It's going good. We have not seen one of these in a long time. So long I'm really time. excited to see it, you guys. I think there's been some changes. Yes, yes. And Andrea, first, we're going a little out of character. First change. Look at that paint job. Is that not absolutely amazing? It is, and I can definitely tell it's different. Perfect. Let's get started up here, Andrea. Model is 37TS. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 39 feet 4 inches. This is the Integra Accolade. It is their Super C diesel motorhome. We do have a nice bunk over the cab right there with Integra's windshield. I absolutely love that. That is a fiberglass front cap, seamless, because the seams are underneath there. This is on the custom Freightliner chassis. It's an S2 RV chassis, Andrea. It has an ISB 6.7 liter engine with 360 horsepower and 800 feet pounds of torque. And then look at this. Very nice. Look at that engine. Hell yeah, that's America right there. And then, you know, this is a Freightliner chassis, Andrea. And the S2 RV chassis was designed for the RV industry. It gives you a little bit more of a narrow slope. It's not that super big M4 chassis. And it's nice because you still get your 12,000 pounds of towing. And, um, but you're able to see like little kids running in front of you. And then look at these tires, Andrea, they're the Michelins. 275-80 R22.5 with your AccuRide rims. Very nice. Coming on down the side here. We do have your nice big oversized mirrors right there. Here's your running boards, running board steps to make it easy to get in and out. And then right here you do have cameras on the left side, right side, and the reverse side. We do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Andrea, let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Look at that power awning there. That is a very cute pattern. Yes, and we do have the LED light strip underneath as well. And then coming around here, look at this. Nice aluminum slam latch doors. Okay, it does have the carpet in here. You know how we feel about that. But what I will say, do you see how this whole storage area is kind of connecting, Andrea? That's because they do put carpet underneath right over here we do have a tv on the outside insignia sound bar dvd player and everything very nice and these are the aluminum slam latch doors coming on down the side here right here's your propane tank and andrea right here bing that's all the specs of this motorhome lengths tank sizes widths everything right there and we also have that down in the description below Right over here, we got more storage with a light on the inside. And more storage here. Coming around the back, we do have a fiberglass rear cap. Very nice feature there. Marker lights right there. Your backup camera is there. And then right here, Andrea, is your hitch. It is a 12,000 pound hitch, and this motorhome can tow a true 12,000 pounds. 
Also, we do have a ladder to get up on the one-piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Here we go now. All right, hold on. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. We have not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right here, we have a solar panel that's already on the roof. Line guard, digital antenna, and then it does have a satellite dish on top as well. Hold on. Here we go now. Last step. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen's taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up, Andrea. Instant hot tankless water heater. Look at how nice that looks with the paint job. Cummins Onan 8000 diesel generator. It's running. It's very quiet. That's crazy, right? Right over here is your fuel fill up. And then look at this wet bag. Black tank flush, macerator, water hookup, potable water fill. Potable, potable. You even have a place for the- um, Paper for the, towel yes, holder. Yes, ma'am. And then finishing up, 50 amp power cord with an electric reel. I love that. Okay, this is the other side of your storage. Right here and here. Very nice. Very nice. And then right the there's your battery batteries. Tray. Yes. Did you say battery tray? I did. Yes, with the battery tray. Those batteries are big and heavy, guys. So to have a tray like that is very, very nice. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Accolade looks great. But it is the inside of this floor plan that makes it special. Let's go take a look. After you cargo is not on there where is it yes it is holy smokes 7104 pounds that's insane okay everybody the slides are in look at that not bad not bad not great not bad but doable now i'm walking straight down it gets better through here and you got your bathroom and the master which looks like you can use the bed with the slide in yes now andrea while the slide outs are coming out i want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor campgroundviews.com if you guys haven't heard the news campgroundviews.com is now the google earth application for campsites. They've partnered with recreation.gov so you can do a 360 digital tour of state and national parks, okay? Not only are you able to tour them and see them to make sure your rig fits, you type in the dates you wanna go and it's gonna let you know if that campsite's available and if you can book it. You can book it through the website. So, big shout outs to Mark, the owner of campgroundviews.com. We have a video with him right up there. We'll also link that video at the end of this video. Yes, thank you so much, campgroundviews.com. Andrea, let's get started up here. Nice, look at this, Andrea. Nice Freightliner chassis. The key's actually on this side. Hell yeah, brother. 360 Cummins. You got your steering wheel right here, Freightliner. Right here's your Allison transmission reverse neutral drive. This is air ride. So you got your air brakes. This is where you put your windows up and down. And then this is also where you can control your auto leveling. Your cup your cup holders are here. And then Andre, you wanna sit in my co-captain seat? Sure. Plenty of head space, look at that. Oh. Easy to get in and out. And how does it feel? It's actually very, very comfortable everybody. I. I want to take off. I want to go trucking right now. Let's go trucking. And then Andrea, speaking of trucking. No way. What? What's that thing right next to you? Oh, this? Woohoo! We are trucking now. Yep. You got an air horn. I'll never forget. 
we have the honor of reviewing the very first accolade off the production line and it was hanging up like this and i'm like what no air horn and i couldn't find it it was up here the whole time mm -hmm. cool and then we do have a bunk over the cab i love this because that bunk over the cab andrea holds 750 pounds but it's not just that it's this big windshield up here i love that they give you cubbies over here with cup holders. You've got USBs back there, I can see. Very nice. Comes with a ladder. And it has, um, it, it's, you know, you got plenty of space if you need to sit up in there. Yes, yes. And then there's that motorized shade. I love that. Privacy curtain. Right over here. Look at above the door. You actually get storage. Normally you don't see this. I'm pretty impressed with that. Right here, you got a place for your jackets and everything. And then look at this. And you also have a, uh, look, there's blinds right there for the uh, door. I love that. I don't see that a lot. I love that. I didn't even mention the sticker because this is an Integra two year warranty, three year structural. And then look at this entertainment center. I like the lights above there. Yes. How do you like these balances, Andrea? Um, they've been the same for a while. They're, no, they're no, cute. not these. Yeah, they're cute. Okay. I like that they have the lights above here, everybody, and the lights above the slide daytime shades and privacy shades okay very nice and then i am in an electric recliner right here oh here we go now oh we're going we got your remote holder here and let me tell you something is it comfortable uh, am i missing like a head thing no no you definitely need a pillow if you go to the re recline mode not the most comfortable recliners I've ever had, but not the least comfortable. And what is nice is we are looking directly across at where the TV is. What's really nice about this TV is that it has a button. Everything here has a button, you know. Uh, if you want the TV up, you push it up. And if you don't want the TV up, all you have to do is push it down and it is out of the way. Right here we do have another sofa with seat belts, cup holders and everything. And then we even got a little bit of storage up here. Really not that bad. Very nice. Nice hardware. Yep, yep. Good hardware to hold it up and everything. Now, what does this sofa do? Is this a trifold? No, it's just a jackknife. Jackknife? Yeah, so okay. lift it just like that. That's Very for nice. the, Andrea, that's for the non paying customers. Yes. You know, definitely with that bunk over the cab, that's going to be sleeping spot number one. And then right over here, Andrea is your dinette. This also drops down to make a bed. Like the big window right here. They got cute light sconces. And Cody said that they were gonna start putting the piano hinges and they didn't start yet. So there is storage underneath there, but there's no piano hinge. Pretty soon. Come into an Integra coach near you soon. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this motorhome here is $289,568. Andrea, that is MSRP. Sale price, do you see a sale price there? I do not. No, because of the way the RV industry is right now, we're not advertising sale price, but Andrea, we are not selling this at MSRP. And we do have sale pricing on this Integra and every Integra. And Andrea, if somebody wants to get the best price on it, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you're not ready to buy, not a problem. That's what tab number two is for. That sends an email to both Will and myself and we're here to help guide you to the buying process or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if it's tab three, two, or one, what's the one thing that every tab has in common? They'll get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Andrea, Let's continue the video. Okay, everybody, look at this kitchen. Yes. Lots of counter space. Okay. Solid surface. 
I like how that cabinet opens. Uh -huh. Very nice. And we got, what, four drawers here. One, yes. Great size. Very nice. Okay, and then we got a convection microwave. Carry on. Now look at this backsplash. Okay. This really reminds me, it's like kind of Mediterranean style. Okay, know? yeah, yeah, I'm picking up what you're putting yeah, down. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. It's cute. Um, we got the, uh induction cooktop durian yes ma'am and we got a big drawer here very nice and another big drawer here okie dokie nice cabinet uh-huh and what we got here more cabinetry very nice okay we have the led lights under the countertop which is nice uh-huh and we got a residential style sink that's a nice sink it is and are those heavy yes they are oh yeah Got the extension there, and then we got, oh no. Uh oh. Wait a minute, I think that might be, nope. Okay, so this is, I don't know about this one. Oh yeah, look, oh that's good space for a trash can. Yeah, very nice storage. Okay, and then over here you guys. We got a we couple got more drawers. More drawers. More drawers. Sponges. Yes. And two more drawers. Very nice. Some more counter space here. And then we got the Whirlpool Residential Refrigerator with the ice maker, oh, water purifier. Oh man, very nice. nice. refrigerator. And then we got the pantry here. Look oh, at this. would you look at I that? I love pantries like this. Very nice. Very, very nice. Coming in here, we have the pocket door going into the bathroom. Show us the sink. Okay, look at this, you guys. Very cute. Very cute. I like the oh, lights around it. Oh, it lights it. up and everything. Yeah. They've changed some things with the decor. We've got a medicine cabinet here. Oh, yeah. They still gave you solid surface. Very nice. And more storage wow. over there. Wow. That's big storage yes. right there. And then it's now time for the bathroom. It's getting hot. Oh, thank goodness. Look at that shower with the seats. Very nice. One piece fiberglass shower. Really good. Good length, good width, good everything. Nice door right here. I like how they didn't try to cram the sink in here. Um, and Andrea, that toilet. <laughs> that toilet. Got a fan up there, a window. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. Okay, so I do like what they did here is they gave you pocket door right here. Uh-huh. And because there's a pocket door in the bedroom, right, you have man. your privacy still, I mean, even if you want to be right here, but you still have a door on the bathroom. Exactly, so. exactly. And then back here in the bedroom. We've got a king size bed. Yes, nice looking headboard. I really like the way it looks. How and do you like that? What, the cabinetry? Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. I like I like how this mattress kind of matches the um the balance. Got a nightstand with a cabinet under there, opposing windows with daytime and nighttime shades. Yes, ma'am. Very nice big window right there. Same on the other side there with the nightstand. Right over here, this is prepped for a combo washer and dryer. Very nice. Big oh storage gosh. right up there. And got drawers down here okay very nice then Andre show that got a wardrobe right here everybody uh-huh and then we got three drawers right here okay and One. then we got the TV and I think yep. it has storage yep so right nice behind it. yes and then we got another wardrobe oh just in case oh look they got drawers in here Wow oh cute it's like a Russian nesting doll very cute. Okay. And then let's see if there's storage underneath this bed. Uh-oh. Is it? Uh, yes, there is. Okay. It's back there, though. Very nice. Well, Andrea, as nice as it is and as great as it is, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about the Accolade and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do foist? Three things we dislike about it. Okay. Do you have one? Hmm. There was something out here that I really disliked, I think. Oh, I know what I don't like. Talk to me, you go uh, first. I really think, I, and I've said oh, this I before. Oh, I remember. I just, I just think the countertops are too high. Yep. It feels so weird to me. I yep. don't know, it just feels 
feels weird to me. So here's my, my countertops at home aren't even this high. Right. So definitely high countertops. Yes. I'm gonna combo that with this right over here. Um, to get to this fridge, you know what I'm saying? It's very, you know, you're compact in this area. Does that make sense? Yes. There's not a lot of room. Right. You kind of have to maneuver and, you know, right here, this is kind of tight. So number one is high countertops and tight fridge. You ready for number two? Sure. You ready for me to think outside the box? Okay. No window right here. I would have, this looks okay. I would have much rather had a window right here. So while I'm cooking, I can see outside the RV. That is number two. And then Andre, do you know what we're doing for number three? What? We're going outside. Oh, great. Into the heat we go. Yes. We don't like the carpet underneath. I'd much rather have that plastic rotocast or whatever. I'm not a fan of it being carpet. But that's three things we dislike about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Andre, you ready for me to go first? Sure. Here's what I will say. Look at how much storage is underneath there. Because they constructed it this way, that's how you're getting that awesome storage throughout the super seat. This super seat, uh, I'm gonna combo that also with the cargo carrying capacity. You can bring a lot of stuff with you here. That's number one. Number Bless two. You. Number two. Do you have a number two? I love the, the whole cockpit area. Oh man, you stole mine. Yes, I 100% agree. It's comfortable. Yep. And it makes me want to drive it. It's powerful. It's going to be comfortable driving with the air ride suspension on that nice S2 RV chassis from Freightliner. Very, very nice. And I love that air horn. And then number three, Andreo. Here's what I will say. We do, we did make this a negative because of how tall it was. But I'm going to say this whole living room area. I love the fact that you do have a decent sized kitchen. I love how you have a sofa. I love how the TV raises up and down. And I love how right here you have these theater seats. Great floor plan, great design, making this one of my favorite super c's on the market today it's like it's a class a motor home with the chassis of a super c well that's it andrea that's the review thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching if you guys have any questions about this accolade please call text send us an email it is matt's rv reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 that's my personal cell or the best thing to do is to go to matt's rv reviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs in a few moments if you're in the market for a Super C, we're going to put the Accolades competitors right there and there. Andre, is there anything you'd like to yes. say? Yes. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Integra does read all the comments, so they are very interested to see what you guys have to say. Thank you so much to CampgroundViews.com. Yes. You guys, please check them out. Check out our video. Bing. Um, it will, it's basically a, a, a all in one stop shop yep. for camping and wherever your destination is. Made by our viewers for our viewers. So yes. check out the interview with Mark, the owner. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Andrea, we'll see you next, next time. time.